But Katie Britt last night. I mean, what, what a farcical response. This morning on Morning Joe, Scarborough uh, really praised uh, Biden, which has got to be diff- difficult for Scarborough. I realize Scarborough is one of the most ardent anti-Trump people on the air. But don't forget, Scarbo, Scarborough is a Republican, as are so many people on MSNBC. You've got to know that, folks. Because I'm curious to see when, 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 when uh, Trump is finally politically dead and gone and Biden is president, what's going to happen to all these Republicans who have been actively supporting the idea of ridding the world of Donald Trump? It'll be interesting to watch, won't it? Anyway, Scarborough said this this morning, quote, I mean, Democrats certainly, if there were any Democrats wavering, last night had to make them feel they're really in good shape. And then he added this, last night, game, set, match to Joe Biden, end quote. Well, I want to believe that, whether it comes out of Scarborough's mouth or not. And and let me make abundantly clear, uh, there are so many of these Republicans who have switched over to uh, some form of uh, ancient Republican politics uh, that that I am highly suspect of. Uh, Let me seriously, I'm I'm sorry, but there are a lot of them, except Michael Steele. (laughs) Michael Steele, the former uh, chairman of the Republican National Committee, former lieutenant governor of Maryland. I'm sorry, Michael Steele, even if he reverts back to being a staunch Republican, I still like him. <laughs> but there's so many of these people that you know they're just itching to get back to being a Republican, and they can't because there is no Republican Party. The Republican Party is dead. It's a rotting, ambulatory corpse. Ooh. Um, MSNBC's Jonathan Lemire, who is a correspondent, uh, and he shows up on MSNBC a lot. Matter of fact, he usually sits at the table. He reported that Biden's campaign was deluged with a record amount of doma- donations following Biden's address. Uh, Lemire told viewers, quote, They already walked into Thursday with a massive fundraising advantage over Donald Trump, who struggled to raise money. Also, Trump, because he had to devote so much of the money he's raised to pay his legal bills. Lamar added, even prior to last night, Democrats feel great about the speech. They felt like they had a significant financial advantage prior. They're going to be able to bury Trump in ads, end quote. And then... Conservative Wall Street Journal columnist Peggy Noonan, who just sometimes hits my gag reflex the wrong way, she wrote that Biden, quote, came in hot, end quote. She also praised his, quote, pow, 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 (laughs) end quote, delivery. (laughs) And then the orange antichrist, he had to come out of his crawl space and on the, early this morning, he, he put on his little toy social media platform, quote, Biden's speech last night is getting panned all over the world. <laughs> right. Of course it is, you crazy little fucker. Only the radical left lunatics are trying to make the best of it. It took him 41 minutes to talk briefly about immigration and the border on the topic of which he was very weak. No talk of weaponization against his very calm and nice opponent. <laughs> and quote, his very calm and nice opponent? The fucking rapist, traitorous, miserable, lying, son of a bitch, Donald Trump. Woo! All of you, all of you Republicans, you Christian fascists, I I, I mean, I don't know how you look yourselves in the mirror. You profess to be a follower of the rabbi from Nazareth who talked, if you believe the traditional nonsense, who talked peace and love and tenderness and yada, 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 and yet you have taken that message and weaponized it. Jesus Christ, you've turned it into a nuclear weapon. Now, a little bit more about Katie Britt's response to Biden's State of the Union. Uh, Even Republicans are saying it was just a goddamn embarrassment. 
Yeah, well, I certainly can understand why. Uh, first of all, this young woman never should have been put in the position. They stuck her in a fucking kitchen and gave her a script. And um, her her facial expressions, you know, one minute she looks like a rabid dog, and the next minute she looks like Jesus just entered her. It's just insane. And there were the responses about what she had. To, first of all, this response to the State of the Union should be done away with. I mean, Republican, Democrat, I don't give a shit. It, what is that? Oh, well, uh, we here in the media feel that we have to give equal time. Oh, get fucking real. <laughs> Those days are so gone. An unnamed Trump advisor told Rolling Stone, according to Rolling Stone, quote, what the hell am I watching right now? <laughs> When she was giving her little bullshit uh, oral pleasure (laughs) to Donald Trump. Another unnamed Republican strategist told the Daily Beast, quote, it's one of our biggest disasters ever, end quote. And the person I couldn't think of was Marco Rubio. Uh, Remember him? When he tried to give a response, when I I guess it was when, uh, um, who was president? I guess Obama was president. And before that, Bobby Jindal, former Louisiana governor, and both of them looked like a couple of goddamn geeks as they sat there trying to, uh, what always got me was watching Mario Rubio trying to smile, (laughs) which is, ah! Anyway, even regardless of what those two jerks did, This 42-year-old Alabama senator is considered to be a rising Republican star. Why, of course she is. Yes, indeed. She is, I understand, according to Common Dreams, she is widely respected on Capitol Hill. And her selection to respond to Biden was a golden opportunity to introduce herself to the wider American electorate, end quote, common dream. Well, if that's what that was all about, thanks for the introduction. (laughs) Thanks a lot. (laughs) Oh, my God. Katie Britt, huh? Um, In his address, Biden, of course, used the bully pulpit of the State of the Union address to really just rip the shit out of so many people that had it coming. Uh, He attacked Republicans in a, it can only be described as a fiery speech. And and I know, uh, you know, when when Joe tries to get back to his uh, street fighting, uh, beer drinking, Irish roots, and and I know about this because I'm Irish as well as Italian. But every time Biden tries to do this, I, I picture him in a bar with a big uh, a pint of, of, of uh, um, a Guinness in his hand, trying to come across as a street fighter. Okay, uh, you know, I, I think he probably has the capability when he was younger. But now, I, you know, I never like to see old men try to come across like, I'm a rough motherfucker. You mess with me, boy, I'll beat your ass into the ground. I mean, come on, come on, come on, come on. On the other hand, there he was doing exactly exactly that last night, intimidating the shit out of the, the Republicans and the Christian fascists. They didn't know whether to shit or go blind. They're just sitting there, and especially little little comic boy sitting up there, um, uh, Mike Johnson, Speaker of the House. He didn't know what to do. His little head would nod, and his little head would shake, and then he, his mouth would move this way, and his eyes would roll up, and his nostrils would flare, and his ears would twitch. Christ, I thought I was watching uh, for a while there a witch burning of some sort. But there sat Mike Johnson. Remember what uh, Nancy Pelosi did at the end of one of, uh, one of the Orange Bastard speeches? She just ripped the goddamn thing in half, which was one of the most picturesque and effective responses to the orange bastard that I've ever seen. Nobody has ever topped Nancy Pelosi. Oh, my God, no. But anyway... Um, Brit's speech was delivered with this bullshit theatricality. I mean, it was just like, like she was, well, what she was doing. She had lines to learn. 
She had emotional responses to pretend she was having. She went back and forth between the wholesome and the horrified. And um, according to a lot of published reports, her own party was a little bit nonplussed about what the hell she was trying to do. Charlie Kirk, him of all people, this little fascist bastard who is the founder of the neo-Nazi Turning Point USA youth group, Charlie Kirk said, quote, I'm sure Katie Britt is a sweet mom in person, but this speech is not what we need. Joe Biden just declared war on the American right, and Katie Britt is talking like she's hosting a cooking show, whispering about how Democrats don't get it. (laughs) Well, yes, of course, Charlie, you silly little shit. (laughs) Yeah, that's exactly what Katie Britt did. And... What what Charlie said and a lot of uh, Republicans and Democrats now uh, are saying is the, 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 the confusion, the political confusion that whoever staged this horseshit is, you know, such an important speech to give. They put her in a kitchen. <laughs> but that's but that's the Christian fascist thing. Women belong in the kitchen or in the bedroom. That's it. And there is Katie Britt standing there in the kitchen, giving this little bullshit speech with pots and pans and sinks and stoves behind her. And I'm watching this. And I'm thinking, whoever stage managed this should lose immediately his or her job and not be paid for it. What a bunch of horse shit. Hi, True Seekers. Mike Malloy here. You know, the Progressive Voices Network brings you commercial-free commentary from today's leading progressive radio hosts and pundits, like me, Mike Malloy, 24 hours a day. I'm not your typical old guy from the 80s or the 90s talk radio host, and Progressive Voices is not your typical talk radio network. It's a listener-supported nonprofit with no corporate control whatsoever over our broadcast. So hosts like me... Mike Malloy are free to rant and scream and carry on about whatever we like. We're often controversial, but we're never boring. Weeknights, 9 p.m. in the East, 6 p.m. in the West, on the Progressive Voices Network. Always progressive, always on. I'm Mike Malloy. Keep it lit.